Hi guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. My name is Yen, I'm a voice actor, and today we are going to react to League of Legends' new released cinematic video for Belvet. I'm a huge fan of the lore of League of Legends. I wasn't here nine years ago to experience everything from the start, but I do know that Riot makes pretty sick League of Legends cinematics. And I've seen the recent Void videos lately, and I think this is gonna answer it. This is the first time that I'm gonna watch this, and I'm actually not even sure who Belvet is. Is Belvet a new character in League of Legends, or is he something that just really coincides with the lore? So let's watch it together, and at the end, I'll tell you my thoughts about it. I hope there are some pretty good voices as well. Let's begin. Is this Kaisa? It's Kaisa! Oh, damn. Damn, girl. Can you see her? F oh. I think she has a. Uh... I think she has a lazy eye. I have that too. <laughs> All right. Um, beautiful as ever. She is a mutant. Is that her home? Is that her home? Is she protecting it or? Is that Belvet? Butterflies. <laughs> Wait a minute, is that piranhas? Are those piranhas? Why are they swimming in air? Where I where is she? Kaisa. Kaisa. What are you? I am everything the void has consumed. Oh my god, the voice Kaisa. I am every- Oh my god, the feels though. Whoever the voice actor is for- I guess she's Velvet. I, I, who knows? Just as I devoured this city, I will devour your world. <laughs> oh. oh, so they are in the void. And Velvet is the queen? Oh no! You disappoint me. I am not so much as void spawn. I am so much more. Oh no! I am the end of the world and the beginning of mine. Did she just? That's it? Oh my, that's such a... You have to give us more! What the hell? That is insane! Did you see... Did... Oh, look at this, look at this. Let's watch this again. I am so much more. I am the end of the world. And the beginning of mine. Oh my god. This reminds me of... Uh, I'm not 100% very knowledgeable about League of Legends lore, but I guess this comes with uh, Malzahar. I think Velkoz is also part of the Void. I'm not actually quite sure. But I guess this is one addition to the Void. It's interesting that Kaisa and Belved has this strange kind of um, transform transforming ability. I mean, Kaisa doesn't really transform, but this lady seems to be transforming and blinking. So if she is a new character, I have this feeling that she has two forms. Uh, a light one like this, and then she may become like a tanky hero and suddenly becomes something like this monster right here with four eyes very interesting concept very interesting concept um it does remind me of some other hero in another game but not necessarily bad but still it does remind me of um i'll just show it somewhere here <laughs> but overall it's really good it's there's not it's, it's there's there's some lack of music to it. There's some lack of ambiance to it. I feel like it was rushed in a way. It's well, 
I guess not because we have had a lot of Belvet videos all throughout their kind of like teaser of Belvet even before this actually happened. But I do wish there was some more story into it because like I guess Kaisa just walked into the void and I guess Kaisa's home is the void. I assume that's what's that's what's happening right now. And she sees that her city is now overrun by something she doesn't understand. But the thing is, why is Kaisa like right there now? Doesn't she like doesn't she know what's happening to her home? Where where has she been all of the time? Oh well, Summoner's Rift maybe. So, so she, she sees that and she sees some really interesting objects and she goes finds out like where are, where are all the other characters here? Why is Kaisa the only one here to see her or was Belvet waiting for Kaisa all along? So that's not quite clear to- I don't even know like you know how some things you just do- oh you know what now I understand. Um, there- the, the Belvet is kind of feeding off the void and everything that has life to it, it she consumes i i i, I think because i was gonna say that the butterflies don't have any meaning to the story at all and i don't understand why it even is here why is it here why why isn't okay it could have been flowers you know but i guess all the plants and the flowers are all gone she eats what's left and then suddenly oh you know what i kind of get it now she, belvet consumed everything in the void including the people that's why there are a lot of hands on her. I think that's what's happening right now. But what I don't understand is why is Kaisa just arriving now? Where did she come from? Why doesn't why wasn't she aware that this was happening to her city? And that has completely no sense. I, I guess that's a skill that Belvet has. Maybe these tiny fishies are what Belvet uses to consume people or to consume everything on her path. Maybe. Because it comes to her like they're it's her babies. Kinda kinda like how Malzahar has like those those tiny babies of his. So let's listen to the dialogue once more. Maybe I can get a little more. I am everything. Kaisa. Kaisa. What are you? What are you? I am everything the void has consumed. And just as I did. What? Did she just say, I am everything that the void has consumed? I am everything that the void has... That makes me a little bit confused. So I guess Belvet isn't the one consuming the city, but the void is the one that consumed her? Devoured this city. Oh no, no, she devoured the city. So she is the void. Devour your world. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Girl, you got some wrong runes. <laughs> so she has a dash ability, I guess. I am not That you know that looks painful. That itself looks painful. I think like Kaisa, the mutant shit that she is, you're not supposed to be ripping off her her venom helmet like that. I am so much more. I am the end of the world and the beginning of mine. Which is kind of weird because if you think about it, if she's ending the world, what world is left there to rule? I guess we have to assume that Kaisa died. Well, not really. There's so much things that happen in the in the League of Legends cinematics. Probably there's gonna be a follow up. I hope there is. I hope there's a follow up video after this. This this explains what happened. Like, is Kaisa dead, or or is is somebody gonna save her, or where where's Valsahar? Where's Val? Where's the other Void characters? Come on. You know, I recently reacted to Jin's cinematic um, release for Legends of Runeterra, and I was absolutely stunned by it. I have to say, I'm not a hundred percent on this cinematic. It's good, effects are good, voices are good, everything else is really just amazing. As Riot can really create like really amazing stuff, but. The storyline, it's, it's, 
like, what did we really watch? We watched Kaisa walk into some, some like, freaky things. She saw a butterfly boat. The butterfly boat was consumed. And then suddenly somebody appears. And then she just introduced herself. Nothing more. Which is kind of kind of anticlimactic, knowing that some of the League of Legends cinematics go as far as 15 minutes. Like, remember when they were introducing Viego into the game? That was like a very, very long a series of, of cinematics that were just full. It could have been a movie by its own. This just, just this just doesn't do it for me. It's um I think I think it's an underwhelming way to introduce a new character into the League of Legends lore. But you know, that's my opinion. Overall, I think it's a eh, I must say it's it's a five out of ten. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Five five is just the overall like aesthetics of it. The void was there, Kaisa was there, Kaisa was beautiful as ever, everything was good, the like the music was like meh, it's like there really isn't any music in it, really. It's just ambiance. And then everything and the, like i guess the feels that it's giving me not much so not really quite hot let's see if there's another release after this that might explain what just happened to this and if it does come out i hope i see you again for the next video please don't forget to like subscribe and comment and do all those fancy stuff at the bottom if you want to see more videos like these again my name is yana i'm a voice actor and thank you so much for watching see you again in the next video Thank you.